Hi guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Harpa AI. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to go to the Harpa AI website. So what is Harpa AI? It's a customizable Chrome extension and AI-powered ChatGPT assistant that saves time and money by automating tasks on the web. It provides AI answers to search queries, summarizes web pages, extracts structural data, tracks product prices and stock availability, monitors articles and legislations, detects changes in competitor sites, and more. So how does it work? Once installed as a Chrome extension in the browser, Harpa AI turns web pages into text via machine learning and runs them through ChatGPT to answer your questions. Now, ChatGPT Assistant is for marketing and SEO, so this segment, your audience, research SEO keywords, create marketing strategies, and generate blog outlines and articles. It's also for copywriting. It generates any type of text content, from Twitter tweets to YouTube video scripts and Amazon descriptions. It's also for productivity. You get information instantly with ChatGPT on Google search, summarize web pages, find alternatives, and extract data. It's also good for HR and recruiting. It improves your resume, write LinkedIn replies, generate Upwork cover letters, and Fiverr gigs. Product development. Write and inspect code. Get answers to Stack Overflow questions with AI. Rewrite code between languages and stacks. For spreadsheets, get instant help with Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel formulas. Generate macros with AI. So these are some of the functions of Harpa AI. Now let's get it started. Now once we are in the Harpa website, we are going to click this button here. So we're going to add this to as an extension to our Chrome. So just click this one and follow the installation guide for you to be able to add this as an extension to your Chrome. Once you've done that, we are going to go ahead and go to an article, go to any website or any web pages that you want to make an article. So we are in this website, so we're going to use this article for us to be able to uprank this article. As an example to use the Harpa AI, all you need to do is just press the Alt plus A keys or the buttons on your keyboard and it will appear right away at the right side corner of your interface. So this is our Harpa AI. Now at the bottom, this is our text box. So all you need to do is just click the tools commands, the slash bar and the three dots. So just click that for us to be able to see the prompts of Harpa. So under user, you have here different things, sample custom commands, reply, rewrite, compose, as alternative, summary. And if we take a look at the items here at the top, these are your prompts, productivity, control, marketing, copywriting, learning, recruiting, generative AI, spreadsheets, engineering assistant, and miscellaneous. So there's a lot of prompts that we can use in this AI. So the first thing that we're going to try is the marketing and SEO. So under marketing and SEO, we have here extract and research SEO keyword. So we're going to extract keywords from competitors article, perform keyword search, and find keyword density and LSI keywords. So we already have an article here. So we're going to use this one. So all we need to do is just click this prompt. And all you need to do is just read the instruction. So please paste the competitor's article content up to 3,000 symbols or press enter to extract keywords from the opened web page. If you're already on the page that you want to extract keywords, then you don't need to paste anything. All you need to do is just click enter. There, as you can see, it already generated. So these are the keywords that we got from this article. So there are three columns here. Keyword, we have Instagram, 
influencer, money, brands, audience, content, products, traffic, bio, sponsor, and so on and so forth. And then for the density, it's going to give you percentage. And here are the LSI keywords that we can use like social media, influencers, monetization, sponsored posts, and a lot more. So the keyword density percentages are approximate and may vary slightly. So the LSI or the latent summa indexing keywords are terms closely related to the main keywords in the text. So now we're going to try another prompt, but the same article. So we're going, so we're going to click tools commands again. And this time we are going to try to outrank this article. So we're going to look for this prompt outrank seo article so we are going to outrank the competition with an in-depth seo optimized article so just click this one and then we can write a name of the product and shortly describe it or leave empty the parts product description from the web page so again if you are not opening the web page that you want to use or the article or the website you want to use you can just paste it directly here however if you're opening the web page already like what i'm doing then all you need to do is just click enter and it's going to start generating article And there we're able to generate a whole article just by pressing enter. So imagine how powerful ARPA AI is. That's how it works. It can really help you a lot. So from here, from this article, we've made an article out of it. So we're able to outrank this article. Now, we are going to go ahead and try to avoid plagiarism because, of course, it's basing on this website. So we're going to improve this article that we've um, generated. So we're going to go ahead and click Tool Commands. And this time, we are going to go to the Copywriting Prompt. And this time, we are going to click on Article Outline MECE. So we're going to generate a content outline for the article following MEC framework. So click that. And then there's a question what this article should be about. So we're just going to go ahead and copy the title of the article. Is it here? Then just click enter. There we go. And it starts generating. So we have here a good article, but we want to produce a long article. So we're going to go ahead and get an article on each, on each section. So we're going to go ahead to the tools commands again. Under copywriting, we are going to click article section. And then we are going to copy paste below a single section of the article outline. So you can generate an article outline using article outline command. So we're just going to copy the first section here. We're just going to copy this one, becoming an influencer. And then we're just going to paste it here and then just click enter. So there you go. Now say for example, it stops generating. Okay, and it's not yet finished. So all you need to do is just write the word continue here and then just click enter in case it stops. All right, so here we go. We've generated an article out of section one, which is becoming an influencer. So imagine how long your article will be with just one section. So we're going to copy the second section, which is selling products or services. I'm gonna paste it here. And then I'm just gonna copy all of the sections here. So there we go. We've already generated a single article in just a few clicks. So imagine that in less than 10, minute, 10 minutes, you will be able to create an article. So we're just going to copy and paste this on a Word document so that we can see the whole article as itself. This is the article that we've generated from Harpa. So see, 
you can make an article in less than 10 minutes. So let's go back to the tools and commands here. So you can do a lot of things in the prompts here. So whatever you need, it's here. And you're just going to scroll down and click on the prompt that you want to use. So that's how easy you can use Harpa AI. I hope you learned something in this video. And if you have questions, please type them below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.